everyone. This is the other Holly, belatedly wishing all you American viewers a happy Thanksgiving. You want to know what I'm thankful for? Getting to see my favorite band twice this year. That's right, in case you couldn't tell, Fall Out Boy will be the topic of this video. It's been almost a year since they've come off hiatus, and I would now like to explain why I love them so very much and what their songs mean to me. First, let's see this clip from an interview with Pete Wentz and Patrick Stump earlier this year. For me personally, like there were these touchstone moments in my life with, that were albums. You know, like a big one for me was Dookie, and I think without Dookie, I don't, you know, Green Day Dookie, I don't go and find out about The Descendants, I don't find out about Screeching Weasel, I don't go to my first like punk rock show, I'm not like... I don't go and pick up an instrument, you know, and, and so that was like an album that unlocked like something inside of me, you know, whatever. I felt like I was like, these guys are weird. I'm kind of weird. It's OK that I'm weird and I'm in high school and, you know, like whatever. And I personally wanted to create a, a record that served that purpose, that was an inspiration. It's like maybe this particular record is not going to save rock and roll. But the idea is to inspire kids that are going to be like, oh, OK, like. I want to pick up an instrument. I want to do that, you know, or whatever. It could be a gateway album. For gateway them. album. That's yeah. a perfect way to say it. I, like Wentz, had some gateway albums in my life. I grew up listening to oldies my mother enjoyed that I don't quite remember, but then I broke away and started developing my own tastes. And, like Wentz, that gateway album for me was a Green Day album, though it was made long after Dookie. American Idiot was released around the time I was 11 or so, and Holiday was being played everywhere. So I picked it up and quite enjoyed it. Ah, the memories. I haven't listened to that album in forever, so I may pick it up again sometime. Anyway, this caused me to branch out and find my own taste in music. And while it may not have necessarily led me to believe that I could do music, it certainly unlocked something in me. After that, I remembered getting a Discman with a built-in radio. Yeah, I know, I just aged myself there. Anyway, this caused me to listen to the radio more often. So much so that I became familiar with Sugar We're Going Down and Dance Dance. I also watched music videos on the television, which led me to a little less 16 candles, a little more touch me. This band intrigued me from the beginning, and so I picked up from under the cork tree. I came to Cork Tree for these three songs, but I knew, it, but before I knew it, I was listening to the entire thing over and over and over again, and the rest, as they say, is history. I slowly started to make my way into that rabbit hole, never to return. So what was it about Fall Out Boy that caused me to love them so much? The lyrics. The lyrics were what got me to like their music. I remember nights where I would just sit there and sing along to the songs with the lyric book in hand, trying to commit every single one of them to memory. I always felt like Wentz, the lyricist for the band, somehow knew about my life before I lived it. There's also the fact that I struggled with a lot of instability in such as a teenager, and I guess Fall Out Boy was always there for me when it seemed like no one else was. They were my first concert, and unfortunately, I can't remember much aside from the fact that there was fire and that they had just released Infinity on High. So you can imagine how sad I was when they, when I first heard they went on hiatus, and how ecstatic I was when they came back. Funny story, I found out through Facebook. At first, I thought it was just another rumor and didn't get my hopes up. But then I checked the official site while on the bus and found out it was true, and I wanted to jump up and down and scream with delight. It was like an old friend had returned. I started obsessing again, checking their Facebook for updates and listening to every early release that came my way. That is what your favorite band should do, in bring out in you in your opinion. In my opinion. Ugh. And though I may not ever pick up an instrument or start a band, my passion for music will always remain. This has been The Other Holly, and remember, believers never die.